Hi there, welcome back to Future Looks. Uh, Eric here. We're going to take a look at a, a video card from MSI that has had a really good history, especially among those that are uh, fans of overclocking. We've seen these in some of the eight, uh, ATI cards, and that would be the new uh, N560 GTX Ti Hawk Edition video card from NVIDIA. Some of the new features that are built into this, uh, GPU, this particular GPU happen to be overclocking. Uh, it has, of course, all the NVIDIA features you come to love, like uh, for CUDA processing, those that do folding, uh, also for 3D vision, uh, 3D surround, all of those features are supported. The big difference between, say, this card and the, the uh, entry-level Frozer 2 is this card here has uh, 822 megahertz uh, core uh, GPU core and this card here actually has a 950 megahertz GPU core and what that does is give this uh, that much more uh, processing power and should help those that are into things like folding uh, or of course 3D rendering uh, videos that kind of thing. Alright this uh, card here offers an 8 plus 1 phase PWM design uh, also that's supported by triple over voltage that's all in support of those who are pushing for some overclock or just looking for a stable a super stable video card uh, also uses military class 2 components it uh, uses a propeller blade cooling which is uh, uh, it's very similar to what we have here on the twin frozer this one's a little bit different so what we're going to do is pull this open and show you exactly what's on the inside as you can see between the two cards here, they're very similar. The uh, heat pipes on the entry level, the regular 560 Ti's, GTX 560 Ti, do not have the same size heat pipes. They're actually just a little bit smaller. The ones that come on the Hawk here are 8 millimeter. They're very beefy. That adds a little more weight to the card. Heat sink that goes all around is covers the entire card. Uh, and there is a heat sink across the entire under half here, an all-in-one heatsink that uh, keeps the VRM, your power management, and your memory all cool. Since you are going to be most many users are going to overclock this card. The propeller blade technology helps uh, keep the card a lot cooler without having to get too loud. It moves a bit more air than the standard twin frozer blades. Still, kind of a nice thing to have, especially if your card gets really hot in your case. This particular piece of hardware right here keeps your video card from bending. Another cool feature, especially the ones uh, one that system integrators are going to like, as it keeps the card from flexing so easily in those uh, cases as they're being shipped around. You got your two DVI on this side uh, on your I/O out, and of course your mini port out, which is same as the standard on their VGA cards. So uh, we're going to pull this off here and take a quick look at what's on the underside. Now here at Future Looks, we of course don't uh, advise you taking these video cards apart unless you need to add paste or service them, keep them clean. But what we wanted to do was show you the under half of the card here, just what was underneath it. It's a very neatly organized PCB. The memory is underneath this all-in-one heatsink right here. And you have your PWN underneath here, which also uh, gets can get kind of hot, especially if you're overclocking the card. Uh, it's kind of a unique uh, concept because it's just a single piece. There aren't any small heat sinks that can fall off or find their, their way off at any time, yeah, especially during shipping or whatnot. We can give you a better look at this uh, beefier GPU heat sink right here, your VGA heat sink. There's your 8 millimeter heat pipes that are quite close to the base here uh, with plenty of uh, gray thermal paste on there which help transfer that heat so that gives you an idea of just what this cooler is about especially with the uh, blades that help cool things off keep them uh, quieter which is always a big bonus all right inside uh, this retail box there are a couple uh, accessories that you're going to need to get set up PCI Express power adapters using four, two four pin to a single six pin PCI Express for the video card. If your power supply doesn't have it, it comes with a mini HDMI adapter, VGA to DVI adapter, 
and since this particular board, uh, PGA card is all about overclocking, it also comes with uh, three sensors used that, that are used for monitoring your voltages, especially if you're trying to overclock this card, since uh, many of the Hawk Edition cards are meant for that. The bundle also includes Laura, Laura Croft and uh, Guardian of Light, another handy little game if you're into those kinds of things. Your quick user guide, and of course, setting up the software uh, that comes on this here particular disc, which includes MSI's Afterburner, uh, arguably the market's best software for overclocking your video card. So there you have it, our MSI GTX 560 Ti Hawk Edition. Uh, intended for overclocking, uh, fans of overclockers are just those that want a card with the highest clock, GPU clock speed uh, with 4200 MHz of effective memory, a 950 MHz GPU core, and of course, uh, selling for about two sixty four ninety nine U.S. dollars around the here and abroad, which uh, which places this in a very very aggressive uh, line. Uh, so there are quite a few other cards that are similarly priced. This one comes out of the box, oh, ready to go, overclocked practically. You just have to install the software and get your game on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.